Hey guys, and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars 2015 set review. Okay guys, so we have probably the worst LEGO set we've had in years, and that is this AAT. Now, I know a lot of you out there have had a lot of mixed opinions about this set. Some of you really like it because you never got the other AATs, and some of you really hate it like me, where I think this is literally one of the worst LEGO sets ever made. Um, and, you know, or LEGO Star Wars sets may ever made, I should say. And there's, you know, there's been some pretty bad ones over the last, you know, couple, you know, let's see, LEGO Star is 15 years old now. Over the last 15 years, there's been some pretty bad sets, but this has to be one of them um, for a couple of reasons. Um, be, uh, you know, the number one reason is because it literally doesn't even look that much. I mean, it has the look of an AAT, but it doesn't have any of the printing like the original. The, the one in 1999, there was an AAT that came out in 1999. Looks better than this one, and it's 20. This well, technically it's, set, it's 2014 when I'm making this review, but it's uh, at, and it's pretty much 2015, I should say. Um, so it's like 2015. So that's literally. 16 years and this is a 16 years in the future and this is a worse set so that is why so many people are so against this set um and i'm i'm one of those people i think this is a horrible set it doesn't even come with any new figures whatsoever um we've gotten jar jar we've gotten plenty of battle droids there's nothing new about this set at all um and it's a really it's just a really bad aat now, I was going to actually make a video, I wasn't even going to make a review on this set. Literally, I was just going to make a video saying why not to buy this set, and I'm, I'm going to kind of do that at the end of the video, but just know that if you like this AAT, I'm going to be really, really be hard on this uh, set, because it, it, it's a really poor design set, and I haven't even built it yet. Um, it's just, it's not a great one. But, uh, alright. Let's go ahead and build the set, and uh, I'll can I, I want to see the set, see what it looks like, then I'll make my final opinion about this. Um, we'll take the in-depth review. Um, so yeah, bad set, but we'll, we'll see once I build it. Uh, build it, and I'll actually compare it to the other AATs as well. So uh, guys, let's go right now and build this. All right, guys. So the in-depth part here on the AAT. Um, so now, seeing it built, um, it's not as as bad as I thought it was. And uh, the reason why is because the you have to build the set to actually see what I mean. But there's a lot of pieces packed into the set than I actually originally thought it would. Um, now, the reason there still is a lot of reasons why the set is still bad. But now after building it, seeing it, and playing around with it, I understand why some people might like it, but I, it doesn't change my opinion fully about this set. It does open it up to some other ideas though. Alright, but first we'll go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. So I'm just going to move the set out, and uh, we'll go ahead and check out the figures. I'm going to use a stand for the first time, see how you guys like that. Um, so. Yeah, we'll take a look at this, and uh, let me guys let me know if you guys like the stand down in the comments. Also, the autofocusing on my camera, I'm still um, trying to get used to it. <laughs> um, it's a brand new camera, so I do apologize if it's not fully functional uh, for these uh, new reviews, guys. Anyhow, here is Jar Jar. Um, he looks pretty cool. He's pretty much the same. I mean, nobody likes Jar Jar, but for the figure wise, he does look cool. Um, so, yeah. Um, he's got his purple shield right here. That looks neat. And he's got his, like, cane thing. I'll go ahead and take his head off for you guys. What he looks like. Um, like that. The torso print. And uh, 
Yeah, so that's Jar Jar. And then, uh, pretty, pretty relatively simple battle droids. I think they're pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> um, and then here's the other one. Oh, sorry about the focusing, guys. Again, I'm trying to get used to it. Alright. Go ahead and take a look. AAT. Vehicle itself. Alright, so um, the battle droids, you can put the um, this battle droid in like so. Um, like that. So you can stick them in there like that. If you want to. And then you also have the option to take your regular battle droid, open this up, and stick him in there. You think you have to twist the gun? Yeah, twist the gun and push him in there like that. And then you can close that up. And you can also, I believe, close the top hatch as well. So yeah. So that's the battle droids in there. Now, below here, you'll notice there are two little peg things right here. These two things when um, shot. Oh, nice thing. Go ahead and shoot the other one. You just push them up, I believe. Nope, push them down. Nope. Okay, this one doesn't want to move. Okay, here we go. Push them down. And this one doesn't want to, uh, doesn't want to work for us, guys. All right, well, whatever, but, uh, yeah, those, uh, those flick things, oh, no, I'll go ahead and just, I think it's just jammed in there, there we go. These things right here, um, yeah, they are in, right there and there, they just stick right down like that. So, that is what that looks like. Um, then you have the, like, the side turrets, they don't do anything, they just stand still. And then, another side turret. This moves up and down, and that's it. <laughs> that's really it to the AAT, guys. It's, it's pretty straightforward, there's not many features to the set. Um, yeah, that, that's really it to the set, guys. So, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the, uh, the final thoughts. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the AAT. Um, now, again, I, I after building it, seeing it, um, I'm really surprised, first of all, how they can stuff 250 pieces into this AAT. Um, it's pretty impressive, but this is still a really small AAT, guys. This is... You know, I, I was actually looking at um, another review of this set on YouTube and somebody had commented, I forget who the person was, I'm sure they might even be watching this review right now, but they commented that this AAT almost looks like the Micro Fighters AAT just blown up. This is the Micro Fighters AAT just blown up a little bit. And now looking at the two, you can see that it actually does kind of look like that. Um, that just goes to show like, you know, it is really small and that's where it really um it's not great <laughs> I'll, I'll say that uh it's really the size and the detail of the set is really where it's lacking um plus it didn't come with any cool figures um we've gotten this battle droid the regular battle droid and nobody likes jar jar um so some pretty lame figures no offense to anybody who likes jar jar out there um so nothing really that special now to be fair this set i am really surprised by how many pieces and some of the details you don't actually see there's actually a lot going on than what you're seeing here this is actually a decently heavy set because there's 250 pieces in this 
um, and the set is $25. So, you know, it's pretty impressive. Um, oh, by the way, it's the AAT75080. It's ages 7 and 12. I didn't read this in the beginning part. Um, 251 pieces, as you can see. Um, now, again, the AAT, uh, it's really impressive that they were they were able to stuff so many pieces in here, and, you know, they have the, the function of the flick missile thing that I just fired. They give you an extra one as well. Man, you do not want to poke these things with your eye. Um, I don't know why they can get away with that for kids. Uh, but yeah. So, you know, the, it's impressive on how much detail there is for a little model like this, but it's also sad because it really, the actual, compared to the previous versions of the AAT, they've been much bigger and much more size accurate in Lego minifigure version. Like, you always want a Star Wars Lego vehicle to be as minifigure scale as possible. Um, so it looks cool in your Lego creations and your mocks and stuff. This one is not really that size accurate. And again, it looks like a chibi AAT. Uh, chibi means like sort of miniature. Um, it's an anime. Um, yeah, it came from anime for anybody who knows what that is. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's impressive by how much they were able to pack in here detail-wise. And it doesn't look like much, but it actually is a lot in this. So that's why I'm a little more okay with the set but it doesn't really give an ex I think I think the biggest two biggest things that lack on this set the size should have been bigger than this and the detail I don't like how this is blank right here if you guys have seen episode one of Star Wars you'll know that there's like these missile pods right here and there's some nice detail and on previous AAT versions they've had stickers or printed details I would have actually even enjoyed stickers for this set to make it look better um, yeah, I hate stickers, but I would actually want them for this set. Um, I think, I think stickers would have been a much, it would have added actually quite a bit of detail on this set. Of course, I'd like the printing, but, you know, stickers or printing, any type of detail on these parts and like here would have been much appreciated, but they didn't do that. And I think that's why the set is so, well, bad. Um, it's because of that. So, I'm going to... Now, I, w I wasn't able to find, I have the a the older AATs completed, but I could only find half-built AATs. I don't know why, I couldn't find my com completed versions, so these are only half-built, but that doesn't matter because it still really shows off the size. So this is, as you can see, this is the smallest AAT. So, first of all, this is $25. This was $20 in 1999, and this was $50 in, um, uh, 2009. So, uh, now this one's missing its turret and its things right here. This one's missing a little turret here, a little more here, but this one's most of the complete. This one's kind of half complete, obviously. Yeah, this one. Um, but the point is to look at this area and just see, you know, how small this really is and why so many people hate this. And I can, I can very much see that. But again, this detail would have been so nice on this you know like they give us printed pieces on this set back in 1999 that was 15 years ago they gave us printed pieces and for the lack that they couldn't do that on this set it it makes it so disappointing and that's why so many people are so against this set um and and the 2008 set it was fifty dollars because there's a lot of pieces in it. This is actually this is the biggest AAT, and it makes sense that it, you know it's the biggest and stuff. Um, but they gave us sticker details and stuff like that. Here, 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 here. They didn't give us any of that for this. No details whatsoever, and I think that's really hurting the set. And it's really small. This set I think only has like two hundred pieces, and it's bigger than this one. Uh, bigger than this one right here. Now, to be fair, this set is kind of breakable. Because, uh, you know, Lego design building wise wasn't the greatest back 15 years ago. Um, this one's very sturdy. I can drop it and it won't break. This one, it breaks in half when I drop it. So that's kind of where, you know, that's why it's smaller probably. And uh, I think that's why, uh, where a lot of people forget is where that uh, 250 pieces is going is the fact that it's stability purposes. Lego has gotten better with how their sets are built so that it uh, can stand better play usage. So honestly, this AAT is really made for the younger generation um, than it is for the adults and uh, teens like me. Um, this and this, if you're, I don't know, 
13 or older, go on eBay, buy these. Do not buy this. If you're 13 or under, I think you'll enjoy this. You won't really care um, about the accuracy that much. Um, not to say, you know, if anybody out there is like 10 and likes this one better, I'm not calling you out or anything. I just think younger kids are going to enjoy this set better because it doesn't break when I, well, for the most part, it doesn't break when I drop it. Um, so that's the advantage just with the, is this one. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd compare them. I wanted to show that to you guys. So, um, you know, $25, it's 250 pieces. Yes, it is worth it. So you can pay full retail price and you'll get some money out of this. But this is, I really don't suggest getting this set, guys. And anybody out there who really likes this set, I really highly suggest you go on eBay. Pay like 30, 40 bucks for the uh, original tanned AAT. That's way better. They go for 20 bucks more, I know. But you're going to get in a bigger set and it looks cooler. And I think you guys, will, uh, anybody my age will definitely enjoy it more than, uh, more than this one right here. Uh, but yeah, so again, it's impressive that LEGO was able to pack so many pieces in. It's a very well-built AAT, but it's very, um, it's not size accurate, and there's no details. And that's why I'm giving the rating right here. I'm going to give this a meh. Not bad. I really want to do it bad. But because of how well it's built, and because they did give us 250 pieces for $25, that's why I can't give it bad. Now, if this was 190 pieces and this right here, oh, I'd be putting bad right now on the rating scale right here. Um, but yeah, so that's why I'm going to do meh, because it's a pretty much a meh set. It's not great in any way, it's it's not decent, it's not that, it's not bad enough, but it's almost right there. It's right on the line. Alright guys, so, um, I didn't want to hate too much about this model, because I know you guys have already heard me hate in the beginning of the video, so I just wanted to prove my points here. I think that, again, the biggest things LEGO lacked on, details, and the size accuracy. Uh, if they had gotten gotten those two points, this would have been a much better set, but uh, that just didn't happen. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it, guys. And again, poor figures is another reason. Very poor figures. Um, yeah, not size accurate at all. I think that's what gets me the most. Okay, guys, check out my other 2015 LEGO Star Wars uh, reviews. They're all down on my Solid Brick Studios channel link. You can just click it right below. Don't forget to subscribe. And that's going to be it, guys. So definitely check out my other reviews. And I'll see you guys later. You guys have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.